morning guys and welcome back to our channel um today is thursday it's almost 8 15 and i decided to do a vlog today because i haven't done one in forever um i've done these quick little 60 second vlogs on tiktok that i have shared onto here so i thought it was time to do one of my regular vlogs that are a little bit longer um because i get a lot of requests for those so i got up and i watered my flowers and i just made my first cup of coffee so I thought I would kind of jump on and let you guys know what we're going to do today. We don't have a whole lot of plans. Um, Chris is still working from home, so I'm gonna make him a cup of coffee, make the kids some breakfast, make Chris and myself some breakfast. Um, I just have some chores to get done around the house, some laundry, I wanna clean up the kitchen, so maybe I'll do a little section in the vlog with like me cleaning the kitchen or whatever. And then I also need to go over to my parents later this afternoon to sit with my dad because my mom has a dermatologist appointment. So her appointment's not until 4.15. I wanna go over a little earlier so we can hang out and visit and keep them company. Um, I think we'll just wait. My dad has PT at noon, so that should get over about one. So I think we'll go over after that so the kids don't distract him during like his physical therapy. So I just thought I would give you guys a little heads up on what we are doing today. So. I'm gonna enjoy this coffee, pay a couple bills, and then I'm gonna make the kids some breakfast. All right, you guys, I had to reheat my coffee because mom life, and I got my bills paid and I decided to make the kids breakfast. And when I was talking in my grocery haul um, a few videos back, I mentioned how I make like French toast and I'll make the whole loaf and I make it for like the week or however long it lasts, sometimes it lasts longer, um, and like what I do to prep it and how I just like freeze it and we take it out as we need it. And several of you said that you wanted the recipe or wanted me to show you guys like how I do it. So first, this is the bread that I buy. I buy the Great Value Thick Sliced Texas Toast. It makes nice thick pieces of um, French toast. And then I don't really have a recipe that I necessarily follow. So I'm gonna just please bear with me. Let's see, I wonder if I should bring you guys a little bit closer. Um, and I have some sausage that's frozen. I haven't started cooking it yet. Um, so we're just doing sausage for breakfast and some French toast. So I'm gonna bring you guys down and kind of show you what I'm doing here. So I always just use a pie plate. And like I said, I don't measure. And because I'm doing, I do need a fork though, because I'm doing the whole loaf, um, I'm gonna do like, I think three eggs, let's say. So first I just crack my eggs into the pie plate. Like I said, I don't measure this at all. Um, I just never have. So it's got a little piece of shell there. There you go. I just kind of eyeball it and that's about it. I've never followed like necessarily a recipe. Okay, so we'll do that because we are, like I said, we do the whole loaf. And then we're gonna add some milk. some vanilla. Once again, just kind of eyeballing it. I like a lot of vanilla, so I add kind of a little bit more than I probably need. We're gonna add a little bit of sugar. And then I add a lot of cinnamon, like a lot of cinnamon, and then a little bit of ground nutmeg. There we go. And then I just use a fork and I just whisk it together. And then after you get it whisked, you can kind of see if the color is where you want it to be. Mine's always like a darker brown color because I always add so much cinnamon and vanilla. Um, but you can always add more milk if you need to. And sometimes I'll start making like the entire loaf of bread and I'll get like a little over halfway through it and I'll realize I need more mixture and it's so easy to just add like another egg, some milk and a little bit more of the spices. It's so easy. This is about the color I always do so I'm not gonna have to add anything else. I just get it all mixed up. So it's mixed really well. Get that cinnamon off the edge of the pie plate. Sorry, I'm gonna keep checking my phone to make sure I don't run out of storage. Knock on wood, right? So I just thought I would add this in as part of my vlog since a lot of you have said you were interested in how I make my French toast. So now I'm just gonna kind of set this aside. I'm just gonna move this stuff out of the way and then I'll get right into making the French toast and I'll just show you how I make just a couple pieces of it and then um, 
I'll explain what I do with all of the French toast. So we'll just move you guys back here a little bit. Move you back up so you can see the griddle. Now, like I said, for this French toast, I make the entire loaf because then I let it cool on the plate and after it cools, I just um, put it in a big gallon size Ziploc bag and I freeze it and I leave it in the freezer and it lasts for you know quite a while, but we just take out what we need one piece at a time and put it in the toaster to reheat it. So I'll have to show you in another video, sorry, there's a notification, how I do that. Um, it makes it so quick and easy, especially when it's like a school morning and you don't have time to cook. So what I do is I just dredge the French toast in the mixture and then put it on the griddle. Probably should have had that preheating, but that's okay. And you can make this with regular white bread. I do that a lot as well, but my favorite way to do it is to just buy the thick sliced Texas toast. I just feel like it makes nice big thick pieces of French toast and then just like you would a frozen waffle out of you know like an Eggo waffle you just take it right out of the freezer and put it in the toaster it makes it nice and crispy on the outside and it's cooked perfectly and not cold on the inside so it's just something that's been like a little hack of mine I guess that I've always done that way the kids are eating still like a homemade breakfast on a school morning and I'm not having to rush around and make a big breakfast on a school morning so And if you're gonna get the griddle out and dirty a bunch of dishes, you might as well just make it all at once, right? So there we go. And then I will come back and show you guys as soon as it is done cooking. Um, and then after it cools, I'll show you how I kind of get it put into like the Ziploc bag and all that stuff. It's so quick and easy, pretty self-explanatory, but you guys wanted to see it. So I thought I would just do it as part of my little vlog here. So I will be back shortly. All right, you guys, here is the French toast all done. So once it cools, I just put it into one of these gallon Ziploc bags and I just pop it in the freezer. And then when we need it, we just take out one frozen piece at a time. Whoever wants French toast, just put it in the toaster and there you go. Then your breakfasts are all prepped. And like I said, I do this with French toast. I do it with homemade waffles. I do it with pancakes, all that kind of stuff. Anything I can prep and freeze. I've also done breakfast burritos. Um, that I freeze and wrap individually so you can just take one out as you need it and like heat it up so if you guys want to see a video on those let me know and I'll have to do those sometime but I'm all about making mornings easier but still having a good homemade breakfast so there is what the French toast looks like I'm gonna finish cooking up the rest of it I still have like at least half of a loaf to go the sausage is cooking so I'm gonna get this breakfast all done for the kids get them their food and then I'm gonna get the kitchen cleaned up Um, I came and kind of snuck away into Aniston's room because she is watching TV in my room. Cohen's in the loft, Jackson's downstairs playing with the dogs, and Chris is working from home downstairs. So I kind of snuck away in here where it was a little bit more quiet. Um, yeah, it's been a day. I just got off the phone with the urologist. I took my dad to the urologist yesterday and there was a big problem there. Basically what happened was he went to use the restroom and got locked in the bathroom there and they couldn't get him out. So he got really weak and really tired and he's still extremely weak today because of that. But he was locked in the bathroom and we almost had to call the fire department because they did not have a key to the bathroom door and they did not have a way to get him out. So I was calling and talking to the office manager and saying how we need to 
um, find a solution so something like this does not happen again to him or anyone else because what if he would have had a seizure in there and like fallen and hit his head or what if you know someone could have a heart attack in there and like be locked in there and you have no way of getting in like that sounds like that could be you know a big problem and basically they just pointed fingers at us and said it was our fault but um they would not let my mom go back with my dad yesterday even though she explained she has to be with him he literally cannot be alone at all he can't be out of anyone's sight he has to have help whenever he's in the restroom at home like he cannot be alone and they assured her that he would not be left alone and obviously he was but they're pointing fingers and saying it's our fault so i just told her that i just the solution i wanted was something written down in the chart that he can have someone back with him at all times because he sees the same urologist at a different location and he's been there twice and they let my mom go back both times. It's just this other location that didn't. So I explained to her like, why is someone allowed back with him at your other location? And she tried telling me that that's not true. And I'm like, my mom goes back with him there. So long story short, I just, it's been a day. I've been on the phone playing phone tag with her all morning. Um, I, after I cleaned the kitchen, um, I came upstairs and took a shower and got ready. And then I came down and made um, everybody breakfast or made everybody lunch. I made lunch for Chris and lunch for the kids and I had yogurt. Um, and then now I am ready to go. I was gonna just go hang out with my parents like I mentioned earlier, but the MD Anderson Cancer Center called um, a while ago and my dad is supposed to start radiation on Monday, but they're having problems getting his chemo pill um, filled in time and you have to start the chemo pill when you start radiation. So, um, basically they called today and they're like, well, he's supposed to start radiation on Monday and the new oncologist needs to see him before he starts radiation at 9am on Monday. My mom said, okay. And they said, well, can you come today? And she said, no, I have a doctor's appointment because they wanted her to come at four. Um, and she has a dermatologist appointment at 415. And so she's like, what about Friday? Like we can come tomorrow. And they were like, oh, we're closed tomorrow for the three day, like the holiday weekend. So I told my mom, make the appointment at the oncologist for him at four o'clock and I will take him to the oncologist so she can go to her dermatologist appointment because she has already rescheduled this appointment two times already. So this would have been her third time rescheduling. And I'm like, you need to make sure you're taking care of yourself as well through all of this. So she's going to the dermatologist and I'm going to take my dad to the oncologist. So that's kind of what's going on. It is... 150. So I'm going to go downstairs. I'm going, going to fill up my water and kind of get ready. And then I'm going to probably head out in a little bit because my dad and I will probably leave about 315 to go to the oncologist. So yeah. So thankfully Chris has an amazing job, like amazing company he works for because, um, I can leave the kids with him and take my dad to the oncologist. So that's what we're going to do. So that's kind of my little, where we're at in our day. Um, I'll obviously come back and vlog some more throughout the day, but just a little explanation of what's been going on so far today. So I haven't really got a whole lot done. I have planned on doing a bunch of laundry and stuff and like literally none of that got done. So it's all right. It's always tomorrow, right? So I'm going to go fill my water and get ready to go. And then I will check back in with you guys shortly. All right, you guys, it is now like 7.35 and I'm finally leaving my parents' house. I'm actually sitting out in front of their house right now, getting ready to drive home. Um, I got here at like 2.30, I think it was. Um, so just shortly after I talked to you guys on my last little update I did for my vlog and um, just got here in time to help my mom with her grocery order really quick. And then we left because the oncologist called and said, if it's possible, could you come a little bit early? We want him to get some blood work done prior to his appointment. So we left early and we got there and did the blood work. And then um, his appointment was at four. So we got right up there at four and we did not leave the oncologist until just before six. So it was like a two hour appointment, but so that's why I have not been back on to update. And then we got home about 6.30. I got him inside and helped my mom get him some dinner and some Gatorade because he wanted a Gatorade. And then I just got him back from the dinner table to the couch. So he's on the couch resting, but his appointment went really well. Um, this is like, he has several different oncologists. One of them is like in charge of radiation. This is kind of like his medical oncologist. And um, he is thinking that, you know, obviously the radiation um, and the chemo pill will help to prolong the time he does have left. and make it a better quality of life. And he's also given us the option to try something called Optune, I believe it is, 
which would not happen until after radiation, but it's basically like electrodes that he would wear on his head um, for at least 18 hours a day. And it kind of just like kills the cancer cells as they try to like split and divide. So that's something we're going to look into because he said he highly, highly recommends that, that it's like category one gold star treatment. So we're going to look into that. Um, and then my dad can let them know Monday when he goes for radiation, if he's going to go through with the Optune or not. But like I said, that wouldn't happen until after radiation anyways, and radiation is six weeks long. So, um, but yeah, so my day, that was my day. Um, I've not eaten dinner yet. Chris, I know fed the kids some pizza, so I am going to head home and I'm going to probably just eat like a veggie burger or something, but, um, I'm not sure if I'll get back on tonight because it's already so late. So I'll probably just say good night now. Thank you for hanging out with me and spending time with me. Um, I'm really excited that my dad is still on track to start his radiation on Monday. I'm glad that we're not having to prolong it any longer. Um, at some point this weekend, I will be going to Costco hopefully tomorrow afternoon, like late afternoon, because that's where his chemotherapy pills are. So I'm going to go pick those up for them. And I don't think I need anything, but you know, probably something will call me and find me in Costco. So if I end up getting anything at Costco, I'll do a little mini Costco haul for you guys. But, um, so yeah, that was my day. Um, just kind of like, since we're still self quarantining, we don't really do much at all. I'm home all the time. Someone commented on one of my TikTok vlogs that I did just the little 60 second ones and said, um, pretty much every day looks the same for you. And I'm like, well, yeah, we're still quarantined. Like we're Arizona has opened back up, but as you guys know, the coronavirus is really bad here. So we're just still kind of like self-quarantining just to keep my dad safe. So really the only time I leave the house is when I take him to things like this, to these appointments. So anyways, I'm going to go. I hope you guys all had a fantastic week. Um, I hope you all have a great 4th of July. Stay safe, stay healthy, and enjoy your time with your friends and family. So as always, thank you guys so much for your love and support. I'm going to head home and I will get all of this uploaded and all that good stuff and um, get this up on the channel. So thanks again, guys. I love you all so much.